this one, sir? No. No. Not until the 17th. 17th. So um, insurance, um, right? Insurance. Um, so we got news that it's down what 8.1 percent. But I have to go through the numbers to kind of see what that means um, for the next budget year. If you guys can hear us okay online, can somebody just raise their hand? Just want to make sure you can hear us. Get a thumbs up. Okay, we're good. Yes. Um, so I have to go through and um, you know look at that email and see what it means um, in the proposed budget. Um, but I didn't have time um, during the day today. To no. That, so I know. Um, and then the other, um, so the land use admin support. Um, so the question that I posed was. So um, I, I noticed that that line item went from, a, on average, about $1,500 a year to almost $7,000. Um, so um, I wanted to know what the basis was behind that. And so we reached out to, Chuck provided some information, but he said it was all, um, I think it said it was all non-public. Did you guys see that response? Mm -hmm. So we don't really know what the basis was for that decision. Um, and it looks like uh, it's another one of those positions without a job description. Um, so we don't have any information about why there was such a significant change. Um, so I'm going to propose that we leave that line um, as it is, the same as last year, until we can open up that black box. Can I say something about that? Sure. 16, 16. I asked Sarah, because she said that, um, that whatever she gets paid, the fees cover. So it isn't like the town is. It's anyway. offsetting. What? It's offsetting. Me. Yes. Um, that's fine, but it, it still doesn't ex explain the increase. Mm. Um, so we need to understand um, yeah. what that. But I, I do is. know the zoning board has been busy, much busier than previously. Um, so I do have some detail about revenue there. So we are up to date on that. So, revenue to date, let's see here, well, the problem is, is we'd be guessing if we knew which line that came out of, because I'm guessing it comes out of building permits. I think it does. Let me see here. Oh, wait a minute. Got it. So occupancy permits, <coughs> planning and zoning. So oh, something must be, we'll have to get an update on this because um, planning fees last year. So planning fees in 2019 
And planning and zoning fees in 2019 looked like they were about $15,000 a year. And I'm, and I'm rounding here. Okay. Planning and zoning fees in 2020 look like they're about 11000 And then planning and zoning fees this year, and this is only through July, are 5200 So we'll need to get some updated um, numbers on this because um, <clears throat> you know, there's several months out of date there. Do you want me to try to project? That's fine. Right. Mm -hmm. so you can see these. Well, the revenue statements that I gave you guys mm -hmm. um, should, um, you should have, the, well, if you brought them, they should uh, show that as well, because I printed them all out. <coughs> Numbers um, from Chuck on revenue to date. You know, we want to, you know, obviously consider that. We want to, we want to understand it and consider it. But um, so, if I look back at 17 and 18, um, they were in 17. They were 2,500 for planning. So let me let me do the total number. So in 20 in 2017 actuals, looks like there's about 3,200. Um, and then in 18, it looks like it's about 7,100, and then the other numbers you have. So, yep. um, so it's down, um, it, it's about almost half um, of what last year's was, but we don't have the latest numbers either. You can see it here. You guys can see that. I'm surprised that it's not um, up. Can you guys see that? Okay. So you can kind of see um, what it does. No, that's okay. You're gonna get it crooked in that. Yeah, but yeah. all right. So I'll get updated numbers for that as a, um, as a matter of interest. Um, so, so I, um, I propose we leave leave this um, as it was appropriated last year. Yep, I'll do that. Um, just because we, we don't really have any background information on how it went. So you can see in, um, so it used to be, let's see. Oh, yes, I have to look at that one. Um, if you look at the, um, the end of Q3 one, which, do you have that? I can give you my copy. But if you look at so planning and zoning here, it used to be um, it used to be two separate line items. Oh, we have to It shows an annual report. In the annual report, you'll see that it used to be split into two. No, I know when they split it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you were on the board. Yeah. And so, oh, well, do you remember I don't that conversation? Remember. Yeah, no, not completely. Okay. All right. Um, but, anyways, it used to be two line items. I think Caroline's out here, and it's not about Sarah and I doing that, so I kind of split the boards. 
zoning and um, Yeah, I'm so in 2019, um, it was appropriated um, $1,560, and then in 2020, um, it was appropriated at almost $1,600, and then in 2021, they combined it, those two lines together and increased it to $6,917. So I, I think um, just because we don't really understand all the background information, would Chuck have that information? He it I was non as non non public. I mean, does he have her file? That one? Um, potentially, I can ask him. When was that was non public? Hmm. Um, so we, I feel like we need to get some more background information on this. Um, but for now, I believe we can just leave it as is. Yep, we'll get I'm fine with that. Um, so the other thing uh, we have, all right, this might be a bigger subject, um, the highway and transportation funding. Mm -hmm. um, so um, we received um, Ed's proposal for funding um, for increases mm -hmm. based on, let me just put it up here, it's based on um, the, what we came up with for this start, so 39093. Um, so again, this this number I came up with by giving them back what they were allocated here or appropriated here, um, and then adding a fourth person, and then five percent on top of that. So that came out to 39093. So Ed came up with a plan to work within that number. Um, it, it, yeah, he comes up with 39, 3, 12. Do you want to talk about that proposal, John? Yeah, he, he, he was limited to the three people rather than having the part-time fourth person and allocate that funding out across the three people. Did you see this? At the 15, 15, this and the 16, and the yeah, quarter. Two, I think he's maybe he's seen it. I didn't see this. Did he want... So he doesn't want the fourth person for Saturday, the one extra person for Saturday? He'd rather have the money for the people because he doesn't think it'll be okay. there. Be yeah, better there. there. Okay. And so he said, let's go with the three people for now and, and do that. Okay. Which is a hundred dollar round of mm -hmm. Which so, I'm okay with, by the way. My um so my other well actually yeah. so let, 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 let's, 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 let's talk about this for okay. a minute, just, just the whole highway thing. I mean, we're, we're, and I need a little bit of help here, too. I met with these guys, and we're sending out job descriptions. I mean, we're sending out uh, ads right now. We're going to do ads. Uh, looking for one or two things. Either someone to backfill ed to be the assistant highway person in the transfer station, or a transfer station facility person. We're looking to see what we get back from resumes. And then we're going to figure out what we're going to do with those. Figure out which direction we want to frame this and make it work. Right. Um, the other thing I think we can do, if we, if we choose to, we talked about having a facilities manager here. I think we can throw that onto George and basically almost like it'd be a public service and let them have the highways, let them have the transfer station, and let them maintain this building. I don't know whether that makes sense or not. Um, so with the allocated, with them having the assistant there. Okay. Um, so are we are we expecting that he would be paid out of the facilities position? No, no, you wouldn't get paid for this. It would just be added into their okay. their expense stream. Okay. And that at some point could offset if they mm -hmm. the Saturday person if they wanted it. because we allocated funds or we were allocating funds. Versus facilities manager went for. Now I don't know whether that works or it doesn't work. I'm waiting to see the resume. I mean the resumes that come back to us. Then I think we can look at what the job is and see who the candidates are. So are you, are you suggesting then um, we use? For now, I would go with a 39, 312. Yep. 
leave Ed's in there the way it is, no. leave George's in there the way it is, and run with it. And so are you thinking, are, are you thinking that at some point the money that we have set aside for a facilities director would actually go back into maybe the transfer station? It for could go back person? into the transfer station for that part-time person. Which it's, I think it's allocated at. Not 92, is it 46? I don't want to say 8600, but it could be. It's not a lot of money. Like 92. I mean, I, if you spread it out over the time. I think it was like 46 something. It wasn't a lot, I don't know. I don't know until we get uh, resume back. We just don't know. So it's this right now, I think we really have to get a lot of drivers. 93.6. We're really down. Like we have one besides George. Um, okay. So, um, yeah, so ninety three sixty annual. That's got to be our primary thing right now. Uh, okay. I'm just saying, from a funding, there might be some way to move it around afterwards. Yeah, I'm saying see. right now, leave it the way it is, mm -hmm. and we'll get there. Okay. Does that make sense? Or? Um, I, for now. I think but, that makes sense yeah. for now. Um, I mean, I just, we don't know if we don't know. I mean, well, we, we don't know who's going to come in, right. or who's going to fill the openings and what we have. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're four days into it. Well, the other concern I have, so, um, so is Ed paid out a full-time salary here, right? Yes. Okay. Um, is that enough funding for the potentially new person? Is this is this just one person? It's it's one person. Okay. So, um, I don't. What's it, what is it at now? Not, he's at eighteen something an hour, but at forty thousand dollars. Right? Mm -hmm. What? He's only part. How many hours do you know? Thirty. He's. Is yeah. he? Is he? He's not forty now. No. He's, I thought he was. Yes. Uh, oh, I have it actually. I was gonna say he's like. I thought he was full time. Yes. yes. I'm pretty sure he is. It's just he splits his time between transfer and hiding. Um, I don't have it. Okay. I'll have to look. So that I'm guessing this this full time line is only really that's Ed. that's it. Okay. The full time line is it. Okay. So I guess if he's full time. He's full -time. Um, so do we feel like that's enough funding for... I think we might have to take it from 19 to maybe $21. Okay, so that's not really enough then. But I just, I don't know. You know because we, we don't have anybody coming in yet. What are you thinking George's position is going to be? I say George... He's still is, highway, right? He, he's he, still George right? has highway. Yeah. He brings this... He had like one candidate, and I said, "Well, we got to get more than one candidate," you know. And, and I said, "And who would be the assistant?" He, he'd, he'd still be in charge of like uh, stormwater or someone with, with stormwater. He'd have the transfer station, and we'd add in the facilities here, because that the facilities here is not a big job. Right. Adds it in, deeps it up. So there, there must be somebody else in this line because if I just take 44, 383 and divide it by 2080. But he gets overtime too, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. He that gets overtime. Because okay. mm -hmm. it comes out to like 21 and change. Yeah, I think okay. we, we, what we propose, I think, takes him to 19 something, right? And he, he was at 18 something. Mm -hmm. And is he getting overtime because of plowing? Yes. But wouldn't that come out of seasonal, out of this um, this line here? You're talking to the wrong person. I don't know. <laughs> I've been here three weeks, four weeks. <laughs> um, okay. Well, you have quite a bit of information. What is that? Huh? Five, is five weeks. It seems like a year. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you, so I would say that if we thought that. I'm saying it's it's a ball that we don't. Right. We haven't. Straighten it out yet. That's what if he made this position a salary position? Because then 
you end up, it ends up being a $22 an hour position. $22.40. We could, but it, I, I really think it depends on the candidate that we learn. Yeah. Okay. And if we make it a salary thing, does it go to the point that they don't get paid for plowing? Uh, well, I mean, that's, like that's, George. That's right, like George, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Is, yeah. is someone going to come in for that and be plowing all night? I don't know. I mean, that's the challenge. If you didn't have the plowing, you wouldn't have the issue. So the, do we, I guess my concern is, do we have enough funding between the full-time staff and the winter line um, to hire a transfer station person, manager? Do we have to bump that up? Bump it up $2. So what's that for him? Uh, well, see, the problem is there's overtime in there. If there's overtime in there, we don't really. Right. That's my point. So, um, so, are you saying to twenty dollars an hour? I, I think it's going to be twenty. It's got to be twenty. I, I I know the one guy that was talking to him was looking for like twenty four. All right. So I that's, said, well, we can't do twenty four. I mean, that's so that's forty three six eighty. Yeah. With no overtime. So where we are right now, <clears throat> there's a little bit of overtime in there. Right. And you could always, if you had to, if you had to pull overtime out of this line, you could probably use that as well. The on the winter staff line. Let, let me ask another question. If this is out of ignorance, too, mm -hmm. uh, putting ads in like Fosters and doing stuff, where does that money come from? Um, I think we probably have advertising in the executive. Mm -hmm. Two hundred dollars. Yeah, there's an advertising line um, this year. It is way underexpended. How lucky are we? How much is it? We got uh, 525 left in it as of 30. I don't know what an ad costs. I get no idea about any of this. Okay. Well, no, we would use that line. Um, okay. I mean, it's something we have to do. I mean, yeah. I, I think know. we need to use some online tools as well. Yes. Who's the only uh, 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 Gary? Was Gary, Mike George, Dion. yeah, Mike uh, Dion does some flowing for him. I thought Mike okay. Spinney did too. Spinney, that's a, that's Spinney is saying he will, and he not when he has free time. Okay. That's Paul from Transfer. Ahead. Excuse me. Paul from Transfer also does plowing. Ames, Ames. The one that's downstairs. Yeah. Oh no, that's other Paul. Uh, okay, Martel. I don't know, there's um, two Pauls, so I'm confused. The, yeah, I, the I, one I, that's I, been there longest. Yeah, and I think they need to get somebody with a CDL, too. Yep. Yes. They don't well, know. they need somebody to drive the big truck. Right. So, because as I understand it, the only people driving the big truck is George right. and Ed. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so. so, that position that's going to get needs to be a CDL. Yes. That's yes. CDL. <coughs> it's going to have to be. And most of those truck drivers make pretty good money. Yes. Yeah, let's figure that out. At least like 22 bucks an hour. Yeah, this is not an easy little fight. <laughs> Sounds easy, but it's no. All right, so so I guess there's a few decisions here. One, um, do we so Jack's proposal um, to leave this as is? Uh, well, actually, go up just a little. Is it 39, 312? Is it? Yes. Okay. Is that it, Paul? 39, 312. Go, yes, 39. 39, 312. Okay. All right. All right. And then, um, but that's basically, so they're giving up the fourth person for increases for the existing people. All right. Which, we can, maybe we can um, get a volunteer for Saturday. Nobody wants to volunteer anymore. Um, There's okay. a lady from the owner of looking in the mirror. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm fine with that, although I think at some point we're going to end up having a discussion about the fourth person. But <clears throat> they, went this, we they went this whole year with only three, so um, maybe, maybe it will or won't happen. I think, I think that, yeah, if they get through the next couple of months, I think the big thing right now, as I said, is what, we got to get plow drivers. That's a, that's, if we get a storm, I mean, last year, or the year before we had a storm, at this time. Mm -hmm. 
What do we do? The big thing is that we're the product driver, and then the other thing is when spring comes, we got to make sure we have someone that like, can maintain the roads. And right. I noticed like this big storm that we just had. You know, a lot of the roads I drove around Sunday, Sunday morning early, and a lot of the roads were flooded because of like you know some roads needed to be better ditched and some of the pipes needed to be cleaned out. That's just general road maintenance. And when that gets neglected for a few years, then it starts screwing up the tar roads start coming up, so it's kind of like... I thought they said they were in pretty good shape. It's kind of like preventative maintenance. Yeah. I thought they had said they were in pretty good shape. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether they are or they're not. Um, <clears throat> so, so Jack's other proposal about the road agent. So basically you're suggesting that Ed would um, continue doing what he's doing and take on the responsibilities of facilities manager. George. George. Yeah. And then the transfer station, new transfer station person would do transfer station assistant road yeah. and stormwater. Depending on the person. I mean, right. the, one of the people they're looking at, I think, has a background. Okay. If he doesn't, it's George's job. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Okay. I told him that. Is he okay with that? Huh? Is he okay with that? Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, it. it Right now, it's up in the air until I, I think we look at the candidates. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So I think that's a different discussion. Did you have some something? Yeah, I think you should consider paying more for plow drivers. Um, I don't know what we pay. Twenty dollars an hour. Okay. And I think they get like twenty-five anyway everywhere else. But how, so, I guess my question is: is how do we? We have to figure out how we pay them out of this line, then. Um, are they paid as their regular hourly, or are they paid like a winter rate? So we do have to figure that out. I can ask Chuck about that. Yeah, I yeah, wonder how that works for someone who... Yes. But George just files out of the salary. How does it work for He's a salary guy. How, how does it work for someone like spending? Because he just got, he must get a file hourly rate because he's not working over mm -hmm. He's not working 40 hours plus. Right, he's getting an hourly rate. You know, <clears throat> a, normal, excuse me, a normal plow guy who's working for, say, Dover, mm -hmm. you know, he might be doing 60 hours, you know, because they pay those guys. And then after his 40 hours, he's getting time and a half or 60. Right. But these guys aren't getting time and a half because it's not, you know, a 40 hour work week for them. Right. You're right. Except for him. Except for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we need to figure that out because how do you, unless you create a separate rate for them, you know, but you're, I think you're it's, increasing their I regular rate. I to say, I mean, it could be one of those windows where we don't need it, but right. we might want to think about at least level funding or even possibly going slightly higher just because. I think, we should, I, I think we should go higher. Yeah, to find out. I think we can find. We got plenty of time. I think we should find out a few questions. Like, yeah, I'll apologize. For, I'll, I'll look into that. Okay, if you maybe can get with Chuck and figure out how we pay them out of this line, Jack, yeah. the winter staff line, that would be good. Um, okay. Because let's see, they're overexpended in nineteen twenty. That'd be it. Over. <coughs> Can you imagine if this last I mean, imagine if this last weekend was cold and it was snow instead of rain. Holy cow. I had that uh, the fire department had like thirteen calls. Because of floods? Because of the floods. Oh. Houses or basements? Mostly basements. Okay. So they were I, I know I got thirteen things. But I went up to two of them. I talked to the, the police on Sunday morning. He's saying he had to go over on Church Street for one, by the basement. Yeah. So they've been overexpended in that line every year since 17. Mm -hmm. um, in by how much? Um, roughly? About 1,300. No. Oh, no, actually, um, this one's really, 17 is really bad. I think you were down a truck by that time. Um, they were overexpended by almost sixty-seven hundred dollars in 2017. They um, allocated 
22,947, and it was almost 30,000 that year. And then the next, in 18, it was about mm, 2,000 over. Um, 19, it was about 1,300 over. Last year, it was um, almost 2,500 over. So it's it's always. What's this allocated for this year? What's that? What's it allocated for this year? Um, this year is, um, I, it's level funded right now. That was no, no. No, it's not. I'm sorry. We did a 5% on that. But I don't know that that's really well, good. Yeah. I think we probably need to at least do a couple thousand. Yeah. Um, based on the history from the last couple of years. So yeah, last year was over by 2,500. The year before was about 2,000. No, I'm sorry, 1,300. And the year before was a couple thousand. So I think we probably need to um, increase this um, by a couple thousand. I think so. Maybe we should be able to get a storm by now. So that, that's kind of, that's where we are with, um, are we good with can, can I, again, this is more advice than anything. On the advertising thing, is there somebody that can give me guidance on how we do that? I mean, um, who we go to, what we do? We just need to, um. I mean, are, are there organizations we go to for this? Um, you, you can. can. <clears throat> the state? The state. It's it's but, it's it's but it was, um. I think it was Carolina, it would just work. You're talking about running the ads with Fosters, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. doing the Fosters, and are there other, I'm sure there's other things we do Indeed. besides that, besides Facebook and that. And, um, you know, and, and I know that Caroline used to do that. Yeah. And I'm saying, mm -hmm. is there somebody that can give me guidance? Because I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure. Right. If we come up with a job description, um, you know, we could use something like Simply Hired or Indeed. Or yeah, I saw, I, I thought of those. But I would say we probably, I don't know how, I think Portsmouth Herald might be better than Foster's, um, but just a wider distribution. It's like all the same, Seacoast Media. Mm -hmm. It is, but I feel like if you want to target different areas, you get different people, you know, getting Portsmouth Herald than you would Foster's. Um, do you have, do we have a final job description? I know no. Ed, we, Ed's, Ed's, Ed's doing two of them right now. Okay, good. All right. Over the next two days. Okay. I met with them this morning. Good. I'm just trying to, I was just, I was trying to rack a brain what else is a good advertising. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I mean. So one of the things that um, Ed brought to the table, and I think it's important that we have in this position, um, is computer skills, um, you know, and also budgeting skills, which would be nice to have, but um, we, we, we have to have that. basic budgeting skills. It's in that. It, it, that's in the job description. Okay, great. That's that was number one. Good. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, so are we good? Are we good with transportation? And so what I did was I increased um, the highway um, by a couple thousand dollars more. Is that enough? Do you feel like that's enough? Why don't you leave it there? Because we still got another week or so, and let me talk to those guys okay. some more. And you don't even increase it to two grand because the history yeah. shows. Yeah, yeah. Let me. Okay, we'll leave it for now. But yeah, let, let me talk to them and get us. I think we've we got highlight it. Yeah, highlight it. Okay, so so don't increase it at all. Um, I, I would move I don't it. I'm okay to, with leaving it to what we see has been overexpended for a couple the last four years. Right. And then potentially even more after right, we talk right, to them. Right. Yeah. Let me get a hand on that. Okay. okay. So there's that and then um, so transfer station highway. Transfer station salaries, we did that. Recreation director. Um, <clears throat> so I, I think we kind of got somewhat of a sense um, 
from the budget committee when we met with them mm -hmm. about concerns around this being another COVID year and not really having the interest that we're, we would hope to have next year um, for a rec, an expanded rec program. Um, I think we need to wait another year. I think we can work on the plan. I think we can certainly get with Celia. And I saw Kelly Anderson. Um, uh, I won't disagree with that because it really isn't a real solid plan going forward anyway. Right. Um, but there were a few emails that came through from people that I. It is important to try to like, you know, which I remember was that email with, but it talks about maintaining roads and this and that. But you know, part of the taxes too is to have a little extra, particularly like having services like that. So I don't think we can shelter for agree. I mean, well, I mean, I think we struggled to find out how. Was it Joe? Was it Joe? Oh, I didn't yeah, it was to Joe. Actually, his it was Joe. his email. Was I mean, his email, I don't know if you caught up on when you read his email again, he gave a really good explanation about the budget, so the last yep. couple of years we read that. Not yet. It's on my list for good. explaining And i got to reread it. And actually, all they say is go off of the actuals of last year, like what we talked about. Yeah. 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 So you're going off the actuals, not going on what, what the forecast is. Okay. Yeah, okay. what you're doing sort of anyway. But um, it, and his email was just saying, you know, we do have to have some know. money available to do it. Right. Something besides yeah. just roads and buildings and stuff like that, which yeah. which would be forecasting for 2020. Jesus, it would be 2023 now. Correct, Director? Um, Not yeah, correct. Right. And then, you know, again, I can't stress enough that if we hopefully ever get out of this PM COVID bubble, that we get mm -hmm. more community support for people doing that. You know, I think that's, that's the key. Well, I think, um, and I told Kelly Anderson this the other night when I ran into her, that it would be, I asked her if she would be, she didn't get my email for some reason, but asked her if she would be willing to volunteer some time to help put the plan together. Um, so I need to read forward with that email, but I also kind what of talked to her. Um, she didn't seem disinterested. Speaking um, but of that, I, you guys I, get emails from me. Wait, can you get a couple emails from me today? Because I send emails out of my phone and it says it's based on um, draft. I don't, I don't think I got it. I don't know. Yeah, I, I can check that out. I think you like check them before I came in. All right. I'll check that too. Um, so she didn't express disinterest. I, I told her I felt like it was a bigger effort um, than um, just Celia. You know, I feel like it needs to be more collaborative with the school as well. And she did speak a little bit about how um, the school is really locked down. Um, they really, um, it's going to, she feels that it would take an employee of the town to open that door. Um, <clears throat> but I think, I th think we can certainly start having conversations over the next year with them. And try to get them on board with. So they probably won't be basketball in the winter, right? No. Again, I would assume. No. But you know, we, the Marshwood. You have to think about the school that we are partnered with, and they have programs as well. Mm -hmm. you know, so we really have to think about how we use their services um, until, or if until we can get a program. I and you know it's it's actually great too because these kids will interact with kids they're going to be in school with eventually. Um, You're talking to the wrong person. <laughs> I'm preaching to the choir. Um, you know, if you think about that, think about it from that aspect. You know, if these kids were actually participating in the Marshwood Recreation Program, these are kids they're going to end up in school with eventually, anyways. So. Um, so going on slightly on tangent for a second, when is the next school board budget meeting? They are presenting December eighth. So, so the budget until December 8th, right? Until the budget okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, we do have kind of a number from them. The last time we met, um, Aaron, um, with the budget committee, Aaron Kavanaugh gave us a, a, a preview on that. So we have a little bit of information about that. It was, Down oh, actually, no, I think that was a quarterly. Yeah, the budget, the school board's quarterly. having a budget workshop on um, the 4th. Um, at 5 30. Um, November. This Thursday. This oh, Thursday. Thursday. Oh, okay. And then they're going to have another one. Okay. The following. Um, is that going to be recorded, Nancy? Do you know? Because I can't make that meeting. Yes. Okay, great. Okay. Should um, be. So I propose we leave the skating rink. Um, the budget committee didn't seem adverse to that. Um, they did want to know a little bit more about that cost, though. Um, because they yeah, asked leave it as a, as a budget item. Leave it in there um, because it's already in lieu of there. everything else. Yeah. Because it's outside and open. Mm. 
Do you have a feeling about that? Well, I mean, I think it's a great idea to have skating rink. I just don't know if it was... Who's going to man it? Well, if it was a hard percent. Well, we need to know what that cost is for. Is it materials? Is it labor? Maintenance? It's um, for a... Um, it's a fabricated rink. Yeah, it's like a fabricated rink. Yeah. Oh, it's a prefab? Yeah. Okay. It's like something that you... Okay. What's wrong with the one we have? It we got destroyed. Oh, it did? Yeah. Okay. You got left it, out. It was Sean and Tia's... <coughs> It was what? It never belonged to the town. Oh, okay. Okay. So, um, no, I, I don't need it. I don't, are they ready? Are you talking next year or this coming winter? I don't know when, I mean. Because I don't know if they're ready to, mm -hmm. if they want to purchase it and set it up and volunteers and then. Well, it have to be after, after then, the first of the calendar year. And then there was, you know, the question was, I'm not trying to be devil's advocate, but the question was, what do you do with it? Still, that is a question. Um, does know. it stay, or how do you maintain it? Like, no, we have to we have roll it out, put it around. Think, John. Right. Um, again, I'm not opposing it. I'm just saying that we, we need to sort of before we finalize. I think we should just have maybe one, a few questions for the rec department to see, the rec okay. to see if they're ready to do this. Yeah. Yeah. I and I think their plan this. was. Their plan was to set it up on the ball field. That's where I thought. And I'm pretty sure they got permission from, I'm almost positive they got permission from, because they have Dr. Marcuccia, because that's part of the cemetery. And I'm pretty sure they got permission for that. So that's one check in the box. Okay. All right, I can send the email yeah. to seal the uh, Again, I, I don't think I'm going to disappoint it. I just think we'll make sure that we're ready for it. Right, because we don't want to. And I think if we can do some kind of recreation for the town for winter, but one step forward. That's what I'm saying. It's an offset and it's outside. Mm -hmm. um, it's not, but you make a good point. You know, as long as it doesn't sit outside and get ruined like the last Dave, one. Dave, Dave was, <coughs> I go to Jacob, but I, I'm not exactly sure if that's how I pronounce the last time. Dave was really involved with that and he did some research. And he's very thorough. Oh, Josco. Yeah. Uh, he, he might be on. He's, I go to say 6900. He might be on here. He's very thorough on that. He did research and he knows what he's getting into. Um, he is on this meeting, um, so if we wanted to um, get any feedback from him, uh, we can open it up to him. Why don't we do it? Okay. Let's find out. Dave, um, do you want to speak to us a little bit about the skating rink, if you have any information? Turned up to Dave. Um, hmm. Does he have his microphone on? That's alright. Are you talking to us? Give us a thumbs up if you're talking to us. Oh, there he is. I can see you can't hear anything though. <laughs> He might, is he still muted? No, he's That's not pretty muted. That's pretty cool, you can see him. Maybe he's very quick with himself. Let me see if he's the laptop. One second, Dave. Somebody's iPhone. Can you try again, Dave? Oh, there we go. Hi, Dave. Was it you or was it us? I can't really think of all this. I'm really good at this. Wait a minute. I'm going to switch you back. One second. Can you try again? Nope. All right. So I'm going to put them on here. Oh, wait a second. Dave, can you hear us? I hope so. There we go. Hey, that's great. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. Um, do you have any information about the proposed skating rink, Dave? Okay. What I was asked to do was look into a system that we could hook up to, uh, you know, be a skating room that we could take care of. The old existing one was consisted of wood and a, a, a liner, 
and there was no place to store the wood, and with the cost of everything, buying the wood was a problem. So I, I kind of reached out to what was going out there, and I found stuff with a expandable pilot, a expandable pilot uh, plastic frames that would go around, and you didn't have to damage the, the surface to make the thing ring, work. My only issue was I'm not quite sure where we could store them, so I, that was something we were still trying to work out. It would fit on the location where the fire department had it before, and the fire department was more than willing to work with us. Okay. Good. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so we just have to figure out storage how much, for it. How much storage space do you need for that? Yeah. I think. I mean. I mean, that's a real problem. I mean, that's the, that's the probably the biggest issue. How big is it, Dave? It would fit inside the area that they have there. I mean, you no, when you, when you fold it up at the end and take it down, how much space do you need to store it? Probably like half a page. I can bring down I don't know for tonight. I can, I'll find out. I can contact them tomorrow and I can have an answer for you. Okay, that would be great. Yeah, we're just maybe, concerned. Maybe with something down by the transfer station. Right, that's what I was thinking too. Yeah. Like, um, is there space somewhere, maybe in where they put the bales or? There might be room. Uh, because they're doing one of those other versions. Right? Yeah, that would be it actually, if this, without taking up this space. Right. right. And then, I'll ask. That would be cool. So, yeah, David, if you could maybe get an idea of the space requirements for it when it gets broken down to put away, that would be great. I can do that. Okay, great, thank you. We'll do that. All right, perfect. Thank Thanks, you. Dave. Hey, Dave, one quick question. I, I think they have an allocation in here for like seven thousand dollars. Do we have any idea of what the cost of that is? Yes. Uh, at the time when I sent it in, it was seven thousand dollars. I, I believe it's probably it's, it's, it probably changed some. I, I again, like I can contact them tomorrow and get a number. Okay. okay great. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you, Dave. Right. Okay. So I don't know if we want to. I'll be at the meeting tomorrow. Uh, I'm sorry, no, different people, I'm sorry. Feel free to email us with the information, too, if you'd like. Why don't we do the research? Because we're going to have time again before okay. this meeting. Okay. All right. So we'll do that. Do you guys know Dave? Yes. Now he does his research. I do. So if okay. he found something. He's very thorough. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's thorough. Um, okay. I'm going to meet. No, I meant about the storage and stuff. No, I agree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. let's, if, 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 is there a place we can put it? Yeah. And we're talking about the investment. We thought it stays in the town hall, but it, it, it's not going to work. How do you get it up there? That's funny. <laughs> the We're going to put it in an elevator. <laughs> um, all right, so. Huh? You get the Stratford County work group. Yeah, it's just a, it would be take up half All right, and so then the last there. thing we had was, um, I think Sarah sent a new um, proposed budget to the library. Is it this one? Let's see here. Yes. Was it? Is it one percent over? Is it five percent over? Well, no, because they changed it to five percent. Um, so their new bottom line is so eighty six two fifty three for a four point eight percent increase. Hmm. What change? That that seems weird to me because um, well, unless it's all salary. Mm -hmm. Oh, good job. Yeah. Because it was so eighty six two fifty three. And it was proposed that so this would go to um, yeah. so that's it's almost like well it's it's more like a, a five percent across the whole bottom line than it is for salaries, so that doesn't really make sense to me. Because if you do just salaries... Yeah, it's unchanged because it was 1%, um, which seems okay. 14. Yeah, it's only... If you do just the salaries, it's only a $1,600 change. No, well, well, no, because the last budget they sent us. Um, so the last when Tamara presented the budget, she said they were going to do the five percent salary increase like we did. Mm -hmm. um, but their budget. Oops. 
you have a five percent of one sound increase in their whole budget wouldn't bring it up five percent. That's right. So it's like a three thousand dollar increase, which doesn't make sense based on the five percent increase that they said. Because if they do five percent there, they must have done additional increases in here. Unless they didn't do the math right. Because really, if they did just five percent on the salaries, it's really these two. Okay, I'll have to. I'll circle back to Sarah. Right, that's fine. And ask her um, about that because the numbers it doesn't really. It's a difference of. said three thousand dollars. Yeah. Roughly. And then actually it's twenty almost twenty nine hundred dollars. Okay. So that's um that's what we had on the list to resolve. And a few other things we could definitely talk about. We could, but like Joe's here? Yeah, yeah and Joe first. Oh, yeah, but sure. then there's yeah. a few other people. Okay, sure. Joe, I emailed the other day. We just talked about it. It was interesting. I thought it was very well done. Um, I didn't get to email Joe, but I'm going to. Yeah, that's fine. Really and then, like, I, you know, we talked about it at the budget okay. meeting, and I figured, well, and I came across it, and, I thought, and then it was only to the, to the budget committee, just as a thought. Send the process. Um, so, Kim, I, I think we wanted to talk about um, the SIP. The SIP. And I know one of the things. Let me get all the crap out. Oh, that reminds me, we do got to talk about funds, reserve funds. Um, was that, you know, when, the, when we were going over the budget, specifically the police department, one of the things that was in the original, as we were working through the, the SIP with, when Caroline was here, as well as with the other. And I did send, you know, I sent out a recap note to people, and I realized that after we saw the budget from the from the police department, that there was a misunderstanding as far as how the body cameras were going to be paid. In in the discussion with the SIP, misunderstanding or whatever, but it was on the um, what we talked about pushing, you know, as far as how we wanted to handle was that the police cameras, the body cameras, in here were going to be part of the operating. Budget, not as part of the SIP. Yeah. So where we talked about there being, you know, and, and then the we storage is part of the the, the seven thousand. And I confirm. Yeah. I sent John an email over the weekend, and he confirmed back to me because I kind of said, John, it seems like seven thousand is operating budget. That's for the storage, right. and you agree that the twenty five thousand for the body camera is yes. SIP. And he right. said yes. And yes. that's not, you know, while I think I caught that initially when we were talking about the budgets, is we kind of looped around. So that. That is currently not in, in the SIP, so we do want to maybe change around some some thoughts. If you have um, the email I sent to the select board September 9th. Can I print a copy oh, of that sure. for those guys? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Is there a separate, separate thought process? Is there a way that we can find some of those to have a rescue plan? Like body cameras or... Well, I think we need to look at it, for sure. 
you know, because I'm just picking up. No, that's even just picking up process yeah. for a minute. But you know, we talked about I, it's two hundred seventy thousand allocated, and we agreed that possibly a fairly good part of the bucket would go to sewer and water. But John has mentioned he wanted to use some fund. I, I think you use it for the whole town first. That's what then, I have to And then you do. Unfortunately, you definitely give a portion of it to them, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking at the same way as we got to look at the whole town as taxpayers first, and then water sewer districts. So, so this might something be an to offset. do. Something, something to do. It just might be doable. We just have to have a reason why body cameras would be COVID related. There was a lot of stuff, you know, I had to understand a little bit, working with Caroline, she was helpful with it and stuff. But basically, at the end of that process, there was like 102,000 excess in it. Mm -hmm. And we talked about, okay, we can, we can address that with some of the other projects that are already there, fire department vehicle exhaust system, the highway we replaced the roof, and then even after that, you have almost 20,000 left over. And Kim, that's where you were you were talking about, well, oh, maybe we should use that as part of the road. Mm -hmm. But then as we went through further in the budgets, you know, that there was that the conflict of where the SIP thought the was gonna be as part of the operating budget. That was a misunderstanding. It really has to be part of the SIP. So obviously if you put the twenty five thousand back into the SIP, right. it chews up the twenty grand plus a little more. Now, you can always play around with some of these numbers, and again, this is my understanding of the SIP is it's kind of like a, it's not etched in stone, it's just kind of a management tool to, to help the budget committee mm -hmm. and the select board kind of decide how, what to do with this. So, you know, I can put, I can put the 25000 back into SIP, and then we can, if we want to really make it come down to zero, we can, we can adjust some of the numbers that are in there for the vehicle exhaust system or replace the roof. Or we can say, well, we're not going to replace the roof this year. We can take that out completely and use the difference for the road. I mean, it's all up to what yeah. the select board wants to do. So, Jack, did you ever talk to George about the roof replacement? Um, and they don't have an estimate. That's just I mean, they showed it to me when I first came on board, but I had no conversation. Yeah, I think in the discussion with them, it was, I mean, and, and where the, the SIP group committee came around with this is to say, okay, and it's a recommendation, they were spending sometimes three three grand a year just repairing the thing, right. you know, because the windstorm would come through and blow some stuff off. It'd be interesting if anything happened the past week. But, um, so that was kind of like saying, well, we have this extra funds in here, why don't we just solve a problem that's a continuous headache every year? So that was the recommendation of, of the committee. Um, but, you know, even if we didn't have the misunderstanding on the body cameras, that's still, it's still just a recommendation. You know, the select board can still decide how they want to move this stuff around. Joe, how do you decide what to, like, what you're going to spend, how much you're going to spend on SIP each year? It, it, the, it's the magic of the spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, it does there, you know, the, the, the department heads and stuff come in and say this is these are things that we think should be part of the capital improvement and well when do you think you're going to need it and you try to kind of angle out the uh, or you kind of try to um, start saving enough money as part of that to do that and then there's a column that says okay for 2022 as an example uh, there there should be a set aside of 207 thousand I think it was. Well, that becomes what would make sense to use as a starting point with in the Warren article, and then those you know you can keep it at 207. You can decide it should be 230. You can say, look, we because the thing we can only do with one, you know, 175 or whatever it is. So it's kind of there's an indication about based on what people saying they think they need in their capital improvements, and here's a suggested amount for the Warren article. Just like in here, we talk about 
there's a suggested amount for the equipment fund. You know, that's, that's another Warren article that the town that has put you know has put up to the um, to the taxpayer to vote on. So it is, you know, it's not a hard, I don't see it, I mean, I'm new to this also, so it's not a hard and fast number, but it's something that's not just pulled out of the air. Yeah. So, um, okay. So the air compressors, um, we have $100,000. Let's see if I have this spreadsheet here. We have $100,000 planned for that, but we don't really know um, 100%. We don't know the cost. They're too costly that. It's really an estimate, right? Yes. Okay. So this is what we got proposed. Oh, you got that right there, right? Now, is this Caroline's sheet, or what, is there a version yeah, of Yeah, it was the, bur yes, it, I think it either came from Caroline or you, one of the, probably Caroline. Um, does that look right? It looks, I mean, that's what I remember the numbers. Yeah, how you can tell if you scroll down to the bottom, I, I made some changes to it. Oh, it doesn't seem like it's yet. Now, that must be Carol. Well, Isn't this it? is from September of, September 28th. Of this year? Yeah. So this, like, this is when I actually probably found it and saved it. Yeah, but that must be Carol. See, because yeah. at the end of the one, there were a lot of formula mistakes. No, well, things weren't adding up right. So one of the things I did was kind of go and get the calculations right. But what I also did, that column source, I think it is, right? There's only C yep. and O. Yep. Yes. I added a couple other. Oh, is this A is for our phone? Oh, okay. No, that is mine. Yeah, but that's it. Well, it might be out of date, though. It, yeah, I, I have I version 7 is the... Uh, is the latest one, but that might not have been. Wrong and send it to you, I think. Um, sure, you, sure, you can do that. But I, I think, so at a high level, these numbers are right, though, right? I mean, this was what the. the, the 207. Well, yeah, you see how the body camera one has yep. a source of O for operating budget? Yep. Yeah. If you change that to C. Right. Uh, Yep. It would it would put it into the SIP category. Okay. So yeah, maybe you could send me your latest copy. That would be great. Yeah. That, you want it for tonight? You want um, now to play with it? Uh, just in the... No, I, I think just <clears throat> unless you think it's important, but I think we know that these are the things we're focused on. Right. And the numbers are correct. As far you know, yeah. in terms of the the, uh, the gross capital cost, those are numbers that came in from the department heads. Mm -hmm. And there was some discussion around realistic ones, and I thought on the like the vehicle exhaust system one might have been changed. It did, um, yeah, yeah, because they right had down. an estimate right. like we right. can do it for fifty and under. Yeah. Um, okay, so obviously that one's not. So that's why seventy five. That's why seventy five. Yeah, yeah, it went down yeah. to like yeah. 50, so that's where forty nine something. The extra twenty five thousand that we were saving there is what I said we could use that towards roads. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, or, but but now we have to. Backfill for body cams. Yes. Which, right. So. Right. So realistically, we're back down to really like about nineteen thousand, almost twenty thousand in excess, which is what. Yeah, we're, we're almost back to yeah. where what that original show. So I should change the vehicle exhaust to fifty thousand. Yeah. Yes. So that vehicle wash area, um, there's a note here that says. Um, Vehicle wash area project for a cost of twenty five thousand should be funded out of the ARPA funds. Mm -hmm. Right. So, but we're planning for the cost anyways. Uh, what's it? I think it has an A in there, though, doesn't it? Uh, oh, it does. Yeah, it does. So that was the and and I think at the bottom of that sheet, there's a I I put some totals in for each of the sources, so you can see. Well, this is the total for uh, SIP. This is the total for equipment. This is the total for ARPA. Mm -hmm. Maybe it'll come up. Oh, good. Oh, you had some filters on it. That's what yeah. we didn't see it before. Here we go. Yeah, so so those are the totals by source yeah. for the year of, um, for, the, for the total gross capital cost. Then obviously as you go across, you know, the, there's that purchase target year, which is what the department heads are telling us should be the year that they need it. Yeah. And then the 2022, is and, and out is what should be the suggested allocation for the Warren article for each of those years. So, uh, 
um, say that last sentence one more time? The 2022? Yeah, so that that is the suggested amount yep. that we oh, wow. think should go in, should be set aside. Oh, this one. Yes, that. yeah, yeah. Perfect. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, okay. So I guess that's why I asked um, how you determine what to spend each year on capital. It would, you know, in, in the conversations with Caroline, it, it well, what to spend or what to set aside? What to spend. Well, the, the what to spend is the purchase target here. When the when the business, yeah. when the department heads say, I need All this right. in 2022 or 2023. So that's that's the thing that kind of drives what has to come out of the, it's called the SIP trust fund, to be paid for it. Though that's when that that's when those funds actually have to go there. The, the the year columns are set aside as a as a way of slowly it's like a remember the old Christmas card funds you used to have you, yeah, know, yeah. Right? you put a little money in each month so you had money for Christmas presents mm. so that's that's what those are kind of for those are and and the source of those is the Warren article for each of those years so that four million three hundred twenty six thousand that's what we have in SIP now I'm sorry which number SIP total? No. Oh no, it's gross capital. Yeah, that, that's at some point that's if you say, hey, we're going to go that's buy everything. Oh, okay, that's the question. If you bought it all today, that's what okay. it would cost. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, how much do we have in SIP now? Scroll over to the right. Oh no, isn't there uh, is, is there a SIP balance tab? And I think that's okay. So that number there, the three sixty two, that's that's what's there now. Okay. And then, so it seems what, what's happened in past years is that whatever the Warren article amount is, then, and I, I don't know, because obviously this was left done last year, they'll take whatever's there, and my thought would be maybe just do it proportionally across every, everything that you need for that year, or what you need to set aside. Those, then that, that, that Warren article amount gets put into each of those, um, each of those capital improvement items to decide, oh, I, I have to fund in 2022 $50,000 for this particular item. But proportionally, it would mean only 40000 because we have all those other items in there. So, so, you, so would, is, you would take some proportion of it and say, oh, that's what I'm going to do. So are you locked into that? No. 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 So, I mean, and, and we, we, can, we can allocate it as we need? Yeah. Well, well we you, you can allocate that. it to wherever you want. Right. And then what you're going to show there is is a, is is a potential shortfall that come 2025 you okay. might say I need a new whatever it is, and, you don't and but you've only set aside so much. So where's the rest of that money going to come from? So it does become a little bit of a mm -hmm. uh, not a shell game, but you know it becomes a little <laughs> bit of a it's a limited amount of funds, and you got to decide where to put it. Right, so right. this is not meant to be. A definitive, as I'm learning more about, not a definitive, just you know, push the button and pay and cut the checks. It's mostly like, okay, at least you have some facts to play with, and to, something that you know, I've always said, something that you could sit down, put it in front of people, and justify your decision versus I just thought this would be a good idea. You know, Who so creates the warrant out of those? Um, we do. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how do we do that? Because I, I don't know anything about it. Um, well, we have some pre-existing warrant articles. So, for like equipment funding, <clears throat> there's already um, a previous warrant article. We would just probably use that, but <clears throat> um, we have to come up with the, the description of it and the, the, you know, the amount. The amount. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The state then approves. <clears throat> it. DRA approves the wording. Okay. That's good. Well, most right. The, the wording is the same like the equipment one. Yeah. Right. You're at the yeah. place for the right. amount and stuff. Yeah. yeah. But so if you create something new, they right. Yeah. So we can go back and go through all these ones and kind of base it on those. So I guess the question. How do we know what we need? Well, well we this is one example. Like there's the a warrant article out there to fund the SIP, okay. and that's the justification for it. But then I guess like I just. You mean like for, by department, each department? Yes. They meet with the um, SIP committee and they tell them what they want. Mm -hmm. 
don't, so, I mean, I don't think that you necessarily do any vetting of the request. Like, you didn't go out and look at that highway roof and say, yeah. Well, no, we didn't, no. Yeah. no. Those are things that we, we asked, like, in the case of the roof, yeah. George to give us some ballpark numbers. So, like, so like Jack would be like, I don't know how many issues. It'll be probably, I'm just going to put the number off. It'll already be, we'll say, seven or eight Warren articles already going through this year that have come the carry the carry Yeah. Carry on. Right. Then we're going to have. Well, not necessarily. Yep. We have to decide on some of those. Though. Right. Like some the reserve them. funds, for example. Yeah. But then, like, what Joe just said is if we decide to say, say, George, hypothetically speaking, say this last storm, yeah. we'll tap the roof off. Yeah. Then George says, hey, you know, we need we'll to do $40,000 to fix the roof, then it's going to become a warrant article that we're going to. Correct me if I'm wrong. would be another approach. And we pull out of it, yeah. you know, we create a warrant article and possibly pull out a sample file and say, hey, we're going to have a warrant article to fix. $40,000. So we're going to, through meetings with everybody, we're going to figure out what we're going out of, what we're going to pass through. So, um, so is and that, then, I was going to say, is that, I'm trying to understand the process too. So even even to fund something that's in the SIP, that also gets done as a warrant order? I think it'll just be attended on from yeah. last year to this year and even next okay. year. Um, yeah, you're right. Um, and then changing the subject a little yeah. bit, but did you guys see from DRA how like, the town has towns want to have between like I think it's five and seventeen percent of their revenue. Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? Yes. Yeah, we are and we are right. somewhere around ten or eleven percent. We feel like we're about the medium. In yeah. the fund, in the, the so budget balance. There's a balance. Yeah. Fund. Yeah. yeah. And I, I kind of talk about that. Yeah. yeah you, you do. You do the job. You said we're at like eight percent or something. Yeah. Like whatever. I thought we were five is the medium. It was a little bit higher. But yeah, it was like nine, right in the right in the middle, but on the good side of. So, and then, so the things that we have to decide is, you know, and do we want more information before we agree to do these warrant articles, like the compressors, the air compressors. Um, I don't know. See, I'm concerned we don't have enough information, um, and these are just like numbers that are getting thrown out um, for some of these. Like we already got information on body cams, vehicle exhaust, and vehicle wash. But we think we need to know more about the roof replacement and the compressors. Yeah. Like, do we really need to replace all five compressors in this building this year? You know, um, I, I just feel. So, who do we talk to about that? Um, so, I'm not so sure. We <laughs> I'm not sure where they came up with that number. Um, do you know where they came up? That the compressor. Yeah. Caroline was the one who brought those up, and I think it had been a lot higher, and her. Input was that well they they had done if there were five of them there maybe two of them have been done pretty recently and maybe they didn't have to be dealt with okay. so that's that was so did John know about that police chief mm -hmm. mm, I'm thinking was it Pete Pete Gagnon so well they do the um I can't remember that they do the air I can find out who does the air I can try was, to was it Sean someone was talking about this in depth not too long ago well Pete Gagnon Sean. does our heating systems okay so Sean was one bringing it up then about. We had Sean talk about maybe a month ago. He was talking about the air compressor news. And I can also we can go yeah, through um, Caroline's email and see what she has for information on that. So I, I'll, 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 I'll look at the replacement of the roof. I'll talk to George okay. about that. And you know, it's I guess the the compressors. It's it's a a want or need. Well, and do you need to do them all at once? Yeah. I mean, can you do like Probably one year? Um, mm -hmm. So I think we need to do a little more. A little bit more research on that, but okay. So, so back to what Joe um, is suggesting. So, if we basically really cut, it comes back down to about nineteen thousand eight hundred fifty-one dollars in excess now, mm -hmm. because we got to put the twenty-five back that we were able to save in the vehicle exhaust towards body cams. Right, and put the, so the spreadsheet I'll send to you tomorrow. I'll I'll make those two changes. Okay. To. Um, Fifty thousand, and yeah, and then the, the yeah, and then I say I have those two on my notes. Okay. We'll put those back in. Is there a lot of access that's good? Like you, like you said, there was excess money of well, if you didn't count the body cameras, it would have been like forty thousand, right? Uh, would have been nineteen. Yeah. Well, no, then if you right, if you took off the, the other twenty five. Yeah, the twenty five. Right. Yeah. But is there a amount of money that? You want to have like in better words over budgeted for this stuff. Like if you have everything planned for two hundred thousand dollars, do you want to have like two hundred twenty in it? Does that make sense? I'm just. It, trying. It, I mean, to the what we talked about before. If the if you do twenty twenty two and you ask for 
200, because I think the proposal here was like 206 or something like that for the one yeah. article. 207 or 500. So if we decide, if the select board decides that's just not going to work, it should be 190, well, then you, you do have needs that have been identified that are going to be underfunded. So yeah, I, I think it can make sense that you, you don't necessarily want to spend down to zero because you, who knows what's going to happen right, next right, year. Right, right. So that, like, that actually may not be a bad thing. So, Joe, if ARP is paying for the vehicle, why is it paying for the vehicle wash area? Why do we have to do a warrant article for it? Well, I don't know. You don't. Okay. I would say you. Do we know that? I think we still do. Uh, well, that's the note in here. No, that's it's still going to be proposing that we do that. Do we know that we can do that? That, that, that they will pay for it that way? I, it's been pretty consistent, both from, I thought, the fire chief as well as even when Caroline was here, because that's really where the where it started from. So, so if, if, yeah, that, if that's all true, I would propose that we don't do that article for the vehicle wash. We use our and we use the, that 25 that we recover again and put it in road. Yeah, by the way, do you want me to add a SIP item for roads? It used like, to be in SIP. Yeah. Um, uh, it's been, what, five years now? Mm -hmm. We had, um, I think it was probably five years back or so. I think we should probably get we back should. to that. I think we should. And SIP we can keep it, not, keep it not breaking for now, because we're not going to change all that. But I think that we should have the ability, when we have excess, to put it towards the roads. Yeah. From so. Yeah. Yeah. I'll send out there's a I found a very good article from the New Hampshire Municipal whatever. Yeah. 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 And, and yeah, they did. They had a very good article on um use SIP, of the use of no no, the use of SIP and and the it, it's kind of you know, it's it's flexible in what you put in SIP. I mean I was kinda of looking mm -hmm. at it to say, you know, maybe somebody would say, Yep, roads can go in or no they can't. But they really just talk about hey, it depends on the town size. It depends on what the town thinks is, you know, you have criteria around the cost and how long things last. And so, yeah, it could, it could, be, it could be put in there. I'll, I'll add that. And I guess what I'll do then, if you want the SIP to, to kind of come down to zero, after I put in, after I reduce the vehicle wash to 50 and put in the, the body cameras, whatever that number comes adjusting out to, I'm going to put into the Line item for, for <laughs> yeah. 2022 or 20, I guess that would be 2022. 20, 2022. Yeah. Okay. So, so we're talking about, well, um, so my takeaways from this are, um, I'll try to do a little bit of research on the air compressors. <clears throat> um, the vehicle exhaust will go to a $50,000 warrant. Right. The vehicle wash area, we won't do a warrant, we'll use ARPA. Well, is there a procedural question that you still need to do one for, for it and just save the source, no, no impact on taxation, source ARPA? I don't know. I mean, it's kind of similar to what... We can, we, we can check yeah. that out. Yeah. What's the term you guys are actually using when you say ARPA? Are you talking about like, commercial plan? Are you talking about... American uh, Rescue Plan? American Company. Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure we're yeah. talking about... We have 270000 Yeah, yeah. No, no, I just... I call it... So That's a really good point. I thought the American Rescue Plan was actually called. Cool. Um, how we word yeah, it now yeah, because proper. it's another source yeah, it's of funding. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Right, is it? It's the same as you, you do one for funds coming out of the SIP. You know, right? We were, we were just talking about uh, like the articulating loader, blah, blah, blah. You know, 50000 from Capital Improvement Reserve Fund established for this purpose. No amount to come from taxation. So I, I would think it sounds, I mean, to me, I, I would say the wording is similar. I would yes. say that the wording would be like that, and we would do one article for the main reason that it also reflects on how we're spending our uh, Apple money. Mm -hmm. so That's that's point. Point. Mm -hmm. But that, does that mean that the, I guess, the, I don't know why they would, but the town, the voters could vote that down? They could, but they don't have to understand it's not money actually coming out of taxation. Well, right. I should well, say, it is coming out of taxation from every single American, that's right. right. But it's not right. coming out of taxation from the town. Right. But it also tells a story of what the, the sense of the body is about investing our ARPA funds in the fire department versus something else. Right. Yeah. And then there's also when we do finally have to go to 
whoever it is to say, okay, this two hundred seventy thousand dollars that we we used, this is how we used it. You have one out of what says here's twenty five thousand, here's fifty thousand. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. What do you think, Jack? I, I agree. I'm, I'm just wondering if the body cams could fit in there. I don't know whether they can or not. But well, and this is where we really need to um, spend yes. some time. Maybe okay. you'll do that one Monday. Thirty-page book. Well, not thirty-page. Thirty-page. Thirty uh, uh, okay. Not in Nashville, you aren't here. <laughs> not Nashville. Um, no, but I think I, again we keep on saying it, but, but it's important for all three of us to read the thirty pages. And I, I got a Well, I already so. did read it once. I scanned through it. Scanned through it, yeah, um, too, and hit the highlights, but yeah, exactly. But I think there's a, a, a more. Um, um, but I think comprehensive it, yeah. document. So I think is there a document that yeah, I'd be interested in there just is taking there is. Yeah. Yep. And I think Jack, you said you found some articles on I, 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 I gotta look. Okay. Yeah, I did. We can try to share some stuff with you, yeah. Joe. Yeah, it's not I think just it's like zip though, it's up you can almost it's pick it. what you want to do with it. Can zip? Yeah. No, yeah, I mean it's similar. I mean, as far as <clears throat> the definition there is not concrete, like mm -hmm. black and white. Okay. No, but I've been, like I said, I've been, I've been really trying to follow it nationally and locally. And there was just an article this past Sunday in the Boston Herald about how Boston, because Boston's the size of Boston, Boston ten cents. three billion dollars. Mm -hmm. That's how much they've received from the Sonic and Rescue Plan, and they were thinking how they're going to use it here and there. And they're doing stuff like, you ever heard of Cass? Is that Cass and something, Mass and Cass? Was that really bad area with the homeless and everything? They're yeah. Like, a million dollars into a shelter there, yeah. using the American yeah. Rescue yeah. Plan. So, yeah. I mean, Boston. That, that was there. Yeah, that was all news this weekend. The three billion they got. So that we know that it, you can definitely invest in in infrastructure. And mm -hmm. I wonder if that vehicle wash would fall under infrastructure. Yeah. yeah. So well, I just I don't know where you would be able to put body cams in how I, I don't bet if we look at something to do safety. There's the there's a whole page on on like emergency and police. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, I bet it would fall into. It. That would be good. Okay, so what we need to do a little more research on that. So I think that's kind of what we're thinking, though, is yeah, if we can fund um, the vehicle wash out of our home, we would do that, and bo body cams for that matter. Um, but we have to do a little bit more research mm -hmm. um, before we can. Well, I'll, I'll put it into the SIP just because that's where we're yeah, saying put it belongs it. now. And yeah. then if it comes out, it'll just change to A, and that the excess will be to something else that you can decide to save for a rainy day or okay. know, do something else. We'll be in the high percentage. What do you guys have it? Well, way? I do. I want to go back to the septic system that the um, fire station is going to be needing. Okay. And that's going to have to be taxpayer funded. And if you could use the ARPA money there, it would save all yeah. Everybody's tax dollars. The only thing that the civil engineer here know the civil well, engineer. Well, they I know what he said, but I think he's looking at it as we have all these other priorities, and that one is not the water district's priority. Right. But I think it's the taxpayers' priority. Yeah, and I think there was also a timing in that you have to use the funds by a certain date. Twenty twenty. Twenty yes, six. Oh no. Twenty six. Yeah. I don't know, I didn't think it was that far out. I thought, I thought it was, it was like 24. April of next no, no, year. No, no, no. You have to apportion it. Say what you're using it for, but you, you can use them up to 26. Okay. Well, so now that's just an upgrade to hook up to the water and sewer. So it's not um, mandatory. It's not a fix. It's an upgrade. But then the other thing you look at is the old you know, bridge lane. Um, I know we don't want to talk about that, but that would be an infrastructure project, you know? So there's probably many projects in here. But I, that old mill, I thought that 75 was just like a replacement of the current temporary bridge. Could be correct. Really yeah. fixing it. Yeah, and George brought up some interesting information with it. I can't remember the dollar amount, but it was. 250. Yeah, I was going to say 200 to do it permanently for a while. 250. Yeah, it was 250. Yeah, do we ever get the price of what the original permanent temporary bridge was? No, I gotta say it was like seventy. So that was yeah, that's probably where the seventy-five came from. Unfortunately, yeah. So if we look at say the next, because um, our book is twenty-six. You say no, it would be like five hundred k or six hundred k. Because I think so. Our takes us out yeah. to twenty twenty-six. So see, these are some of the projects um, that yeah, so. stay in. I mean, 
mean, that, that was our goal for that guy, Mike, to be looking at. If you really want to go back. What's that? Oh, yes, Mike back in. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's the one thing we asked him, the big thing that we wanted him to do. Right. Take this on. Yeah, okay. so, I, I won't get into that. Well, I won't get into that. Right 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 well, I'm a little, little, little confused about what happened. Um, but so, so while we are just talking about a brief. Well, release. actually, we want to see if, Joe, if we want to let him off the hook. Or yeah. You're welcome no. to stay. But um, I feel like we should just plan a circle back with him in a Joe, week let me help you. or so. <laughs> yeah. A week or two? From the government? No, let's take a break at first. Yeah. What's that? that? Yeah. Okay. Um, the opposite. I missed that. No. Okay. You said he'd let me help. Oh. <laughs> um, so maybe like within a week or two, we circle back with you about some of what yeah. one of our findings. Does that make yeah. sense? Well, I'll send you what I have, you know, tomorrow with okay. the changes we talked about. In terms of my schedule, I know you have a meeting next Monday, but I'm not. I'm not here next week. So. Okay. But these guys are going to run the show okay. and Zoom and everything. Who's going to be the Zoom person? Is that Zoom? Might have missed. We'll have I'll have I'll have Harry come in. I'll I'll I'll, I'll, I'll get someone to do it. He knows somebody. <laughs> um, so we could. Actually, I could probably figure it out. Yeah, it's probably not that difficult. It's really not. If you have you had a set up on your computer. You just need yeah. Um, you need to know the password. There. We can do a practice one. Okay. Um, so Joe, I think we could do a special meeting if you wanted, just like another quick budget workshop. I see mm -hmm. quick um, to um, decide. Finalize that. So that would probably be the weekend of the 15th? Yeah. The week, yeah. We, so I'll Oh, we're doing that Monday meeting, right? The town meeting? Yeah, it's the 15th or 14th. I think we're going to do the public hearing, yeah. Yeah, but we could do it right after that. Mm -hmm. It's the 15th. 15th. Is that, that works. You, are you around the 15th? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why don't we do the 15th? Okay. okay. That sounds good. Make sense? Yep, 15th. Yep. We'll meet anyway. All right, so I'll, just, I'll put that down in just 10 minutes. So we'll try to get a little bit more information by then. Could you get that to me? We're going to um, invite Joe back to talk mm -hmm. about so on the. Yeah, I'm writing that down now to finalize the CIP. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. So Joe, you're welcome to stay for a future discussion. Um, yeah, um, no, I think I'm welcome. that one thing, you know, so I. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just come, so I'm on the conservation uh, commission. Are you new with that? Are you been online on that? Just like a year. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, speaking of, that's actually, I'm glad you mentioned that because we have to decide what to fund conservation. That's what I was going to just bring up in terms of the fund. So at the meeting, we did talk, you know, and, and, and Kim, I think I mentioned to you, in the past years, whenever that Warren article was. In, it was always a no impact to tax because mm -hmm. it was always coming out of the Capital land zone. use change. Oh, right, yes. Now that's to zero. I, you know, on the committee, the, the things we've talked about on the commission is that there's there's probably still a need, and I, I think it's it's a cost effective use of tax dollars to kind of build up that um, the conservation land trust. It's currently at 184 plus 25, so 15. You know, let, let's say 210. Um, probably, you know, Linda's, McGervin, McGervin's viewpoint is that her discussions with self is that has to be up in like probably the, the 250, the 275 rate, so that you have a war chest that if something pops up in town and we want to, you know, work with a self or some other organization, you're going to have to, you're going to have to show your commitment to it versus just saying, oh, we're going to bond it out and then change the taxes. So I, we're, we're, we're very, we had the discussion tonight about, you know, wanting to put a, a Warren article in for that, and mm -hmm. you know, the numbers up. I mean, in the past, it's always been about twenty-five thousand. Yeah. So, or it has been twenty-five thousand. But this would be a year that it, it would be part of the tax rate. You know, unless some some land materially gets sold and, and the land use cha change fund is is pumped up. But, um, mm -hmm. so, Lorraine was gonna send me some stuff, and I guess the process is, and I'll. I'll put together the form, the wording for the Warren article, and I send it to the select board. Mm -hmm. As far as mm -hmm. this is coming from the Conservation Commission, here's our. We want to submit this Warren article, then you guys have to decide. You can think about it as part of it. I mean, I, we're 
we would pro if, if the select board thinks that it, it can't go through, I think we would definitely go kind of a petition route, at least to put it up in front of the voters. Um, although I think it's always best to have the select board's approval. Approval of that. Right. Yeah. Um, so that's you know there's, there's never enough money for everything. But um, what are you thinking for a number, Joe? Twenty-five thousand, and nothing more than to like I said. I think we're like two ten, two fifteen. The goal is to get it up to probably like 250, 275, so maybe for the next couple of years. And then we have to decide, you know, in a couple of years, you might have a better idea of what's going on in town as far as the uh, land that might be up for sale, working with SELT and stuff like that. But, you know, but I, I can kind of see it going for the next two years as probably for that, just to put us in a position. So, you know, that, I, so that I, looks like a nine, about a 9% nine tax impact. So one of the things we haven't done over the years, and I've kind of pushed for it, is to put a tax impact on the little articles mm -hmm. so people think about what it really means to say yes. Yeah. Um, Can you do that? They I used mean, to. Okay. Um, okay. I think Ed, when Ed was doing it, they used to do that. Um, and then it stopped, and I think it's an important piece of information yeah. for voters. But, then, but that's no, a big minor, so nine, yeah. nine cents. Yeah, nine cents. I also, I mean, even for this particular one, I mean, I, I've done enough research and back of the envelope stuff is that this this kind of stuff not putting land into development has probably got to be the most cost effective way of, of using tax dollars i mean you go with what we spend on the school and every all the other infrastructure things that come along you don't make the money back on whatever the tax revenue is on, on housing and stuff right especially if it's multiple units it's even right. worse that's a, a misconception um, mm -hmm. by a lot of people is that houses generate revenue and yeah. they really don't. No, they don't. Yeah, do and really not even, I mean, really just to mention, you know, in a, in a town like Rollinsford, in the area that it's in, bordered by Dover, Summersworth, by Portsmouth, it's, you know, I'm a, I'm a new guy here, so I mean, you guys know, but I mean, I mean, it's really just a gem. And, and, and if you can keep that character, it can only help everybody else's housing values, really. So I've never been on the conservation board before here. It was the first board I was on in the town. So like my heart is with that too. Yeah. What Joe's saying is, and I agree that yeah. we got to think about. I mean, I hate raising taxes, but it's something that. But it's worth the nine cents. Yeah. I think it's worth yeah. the nine cents. Because to keep rolling. Is that what it is? Nine cents. It would be a nine cents tax. Because luckily, I want to say, I don't know if luckily is the right word, but it looks like luckily we got a person to buy all that land. It's going to be one landowner. On their room. Yeah, yes. which is, I mean, I still like to feel better, but it's a nice right. example. But we could have had right. 10 houses out there. Well, I heard and that, it was a six, potentially a six house lot, but um, okay, so but six. there's another one on Oak Street, Janatus, right? Janatus yeah. that has come up, and I don't know how many houses they could get in there. So, on Oak Street, which? Um, right on the corner of Oak and 101, um, the Elliott Road. Oh, there. Across from the oh, old armory, I think. Yeah, but that's oh, Dover, though. Yeah. Part of it's Dover, part of it's not wrong. Yeah, right. that's what um, yeah, that's John was talking about. That. Oh, no, no, uh, Charlie George was. And, and, I, and I was curious about it, because I went and looked, I swear that was... Part of it's wrong. It's very okay. It must be a small part. Yeah. It's a very small, yeah, I think it's a small part. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, I, I've seen that place that big youth house they fixed up, and so that back field is for that's, Oh, okay, so it's that back field from that house there. Yeah, it's a barn, it looks like there's a yeah. red barn, and there's a yeah, for sale sign right in front of it. Right, yeah. The house they're renovating right now. Yeah. Right. Well, I don't want to stop your okay. guys' fun here. Okay. No, thanks. <laughs> um, so, so, I think that's all I have. Um, Thank you. 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 Thank Yep. Um, and then, okay, and you're going to formally send a request for the conservation request? For the water Okay, yeah. great. Perfect, thank you. Great, thanks. thanks for everything. You guys spend a lot of time here. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate it. Well, we're like you were, you know, kind of figure, first year of figuring it out. Yeah. Um, so there's a couple... The statement in your, oh. your email was accurate. Which one was that? About learning. They're all <laughs> in a learning um, process. Actually, I'll send you the, the link on SIP. Right, uh, you're the select yeah. board representative, yeah. and there's somebody from the planning board too. I don't know if the name Herb. Oh, someone else. Oh, he's oh, Herb Urea. Herb. No, 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 no I don't know Herb. Oh, yes, the street. Uh, That's what they do with the new guys. They. 
That's the one that bought Joe's, uh, yes. the, Joe's yeah, relative. One. Joe, um, just one last question. The equipment um, request, um, that is not from SIP, correct? Uh, yes, it is. Equipment reserve fund is? Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, no, that is true. That is not from SIP. That's taxation. Okay. Um, All right. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Good. 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 Good.
Well, some of these are just like um, okay. uh, documentation, like research things. Okay. Well, so you, you got that? You want to get that check? You got it. I'm going to meet him anyway, so I'm not going to ask. I'll take that. Okay. Um, so, so we really need to decide um, on. Well, the town can we de decide on the town reevaluation fund? Do we not want to do a warrant for that this year? I can go well, back and because see because we have the reserve, right? Well, we have we have um, we have fifty thousand. Right? Yeah, we have fifty thousand um, already, and um, fifty-six thousand, and I think the contract is only five. So you're still, uh, yeah, I would say if we already have it, why do it? Right. I'm saying. Because you're going to be asking for what, 80? At least in five years. Well, we don't, but see, that's why we need to see that contract because it sounded like they already ha knew what the numbers were, were going to be and for yes. a number of assessments, yeah. So maybe we don't make that decision today. All right. Because it looks like we funded. 17,000 in 2017. Mm -hmm. Well, but then we had a deep assessment coming up, so I'm sure. And then they did 18, 750 in 18 and 19 and 20. When was the last deep one? When was the last high one? Is it like 17? Um, I bet 21 is the next deep one. Well, this is weird because the, mm -hmm. the town report says in 20, 2020. Um, it was approved at 18750 but this budget worksheet that um, we were given says it was only $10,000. Oh, I'm sorry, I lied to you. It's here. It's $18,750. I'm looking at the color reserve. So, okay. So we've been funding at $18,750. Mm -hmm. Pretty consistently doing that, too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's going to be an ongoing to But do we want to fund, point. Do we want to fund it at that level? Uh, maybe we need to know from Avatar what they're projecting for well, the assessment the post system. Yeah. But what about the cover fund? Do we want to put money back in that? We want to keep, this, keep that the same. I think um, it's really it's a four cents tax impact. So okay. probably. Yeah, I'd say we would do that. Okay. Right. Um, it's not going to get better. Mm -mm. No, well, we just, you know, four cents, nine cents, right. 13 cents, all of a sudden it's a dollar. Yeah. Well, and then if you look at your operating budget right now, um, that's um, as it stands. <coughs> that's a 20 cent tax impact. So you have 20. Say fifty cents easily, okay. and then that, and then whatever the school. We don't know what the school is either, right? right? That right. school would be general. You think? I don't know. Yeah, I know. I've heard something about that. No. And that's down on the head count. I don't think they get down what they're trying to raise. Right? Um, I don't know the budget. Okay. So we'll let's just make a commitment to this, anyways. So we'll find out about the revaluation. Estimate uh, going forward. Um, conservation is up. So they had been 15 um, the last time they were going to 25. So this, this is going to be potentially 25. Um, and then call it reserve and then time elevation. And then sit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you doing with the equipment one? Um, and the equipment. So, so we have funding besides the operating budget of two hundred sixty-seven thousand two hundred fifty, which is almost a dollar, mm -hmm. plus the operating budget. So I might think a little bit about that if we need to cut someone. What we can take out.
because the SIP is also in taxation, the reserve fund. Say that again, I'm sorry. The SIP reserve fund yeah. mm -hmm. is also from taxation. What is the reserve fund right now? Well, so these all, so so this number here no. um, would all be from taxation. So between SIP um, capital, well, all the reserve funds and the town um, So you're talking um dollar seventy five per thousand? No, it's um so a dollar thirteen per thousand. Okay. And that's not the case. What was last year? What? Um it's never flat. Um, the but didn't they, use, didn't they use some reserves or something for that? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. To reduce it. Yeah, that's. Right. Yeah. 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 So is that good or bad? I, I'm helping out here. A dollar thirteen. Well, yeah. I mean, you, ha you have to find a way to reduce that. A dollar thirteen per thousand. Well, I mean, you know, it's a dollar thirteen times. So if your house is $300,000 times 300, so it's. Three hundred and some odd dollars more a year, um, and then I think it was just last year. I know my per, mine personally went up like seven hundred. Um, so I don't know that they offset it um, that year. So um, so that's why that's why I said. So do you think that the people in the town would vote down the law? And stuff? Well, I think. It, and this is where tax impact is important, yeah. where they have to see the tax impact, um, and, and the voters' guide should give them deep, some detail about where we are, like in terms of reserve funds. I, I think that we should we should include that. And I was actually kind of last year shocked at all one articles went went through. Like every single one article last year was passed. If yeah. it goes on the ballot, it gets passed. Always. Mm -hmm. vote down with one article. Not very often. So we, we don't do town meetings anymore like that? Deliberative session. We have oh, a deliberative okay. session. But that's just information only, right? Nope. No, you ask questions. You can say that we want to, we don't, yeah. like. That's the, t the town's opportunity to change this budget. Mm hmm So. Um, and, and they can drive it to a default budget, as that yeah. happens, generally? That's, they can, you know, yeah. That's the, well, Budget committee that can recommend to us. No, they can. They can yeah, yeah they can I started John. I thought I started John in one meeting. One you can. Time. They can. They can. Um, they can. Somebody could make a motion to um, adopt the amount of the default budget. Yes. It's a separate warrant article. Did they do that a few years ago? It's a separate warrant say. article. The default budget is a separate warrant article from the. So if the operating budget goes down, the it automatically kicks into the default budget. So you guys have to figure out what the default budget's going to be. Yeah. It's not a separate Warren article, but they're No, related. it's part of the yeah. Warren article. Right, right. Um, okay. there's, a lot of, there's a lot of confusion with, for the budget, too, because you have to bring in the school, you have to bring in... Uh, you think you're okay, okay, and then you throw the school in and everything else, and it's not as you're going. The is typically pretty small. It's only yeah. like a few. It's only it's less than. Is it ten percent of the operating budget? Okay, so a couple, two, three bucks. So when does it all yeah. come together? And it has to all come together by March eight. Well, we mm -hmm. we need to finalize with the budget committee. Um, the tax rate has to come together in both. Well, that's this year, though. 
Yeah, for this year. Oh. For, for next year. Next couple weeks. We have to um, come up with a, a proposed budget for the budget committee soon. Right. Um, including the next meeting, right? Mm -hmm. uh, no, no. Um, okay. At the beginning of January, you have your public hearings on the budget. So it's got to be before that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So December. Yeah, the budget committee hosts that. I paid more attention when I was a young man. <laughs> no, no. Okay, um, so I think, um, so we'll leave the reserve funds as they are for now. Um, and I think, you know, I think the key is, is if, you, if you put it on the ballot, um, you give them the tax impact, you let the town decide if they want to spend that money, you know. I like that, actually. Um, and then um, you also... It's kind of a reality check. It is, yep. You also explain to them, like for example, for some of the reserve funds, you tell them, all right, here's what we have put away for these funds. You know? So they have the ability to, to make an informed decision. Um, and I think it's impo also important, you know, when we describe the changes in the operating budget that we're clear um, in the voter's guide about what the impacts are there. All right, so um, I don't know necessarily that um, we need to have another full um, budget workshop, but I think at some point we have to make a decision on the reserve funds. Um, and then we have a couple outliers. Um, I'll summarize what's outliers this time. I think we should have another, like, hour meeting on it. Sometime, yeah, yeah. probably. Yeah, the week. The fall of the hearing. The fall of the public hearing. Like, I don't know if we want to do like Thursday or Wednesday. Yeah, during that, during that yeah. week. Well, so yeah. we have budget committee on the 17th. Okay. Um, we have to do, I think it's water, sewer, and town, um, but that one, so. Yeah, we want to get it done that week. Mm -hmm. We so, do a Saturday, too. I'm not averse to doing a Saturday. I'm not averse to doing a Saturday as long as I'm right. Or even a Sunday. Um, he doesn't like Sunday. Sunday is not. to go to church. Right. He's got church. So we'll figure out. We'll, we'll, we don't. We can figure out. Well, you're not here next week. I'm not here. You want to make a date? Figure out a date for one final. Yep. And you want to do it the 16th, which is I think a Tuesday. Um. Uh, if you want to have meetings Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, those so that's up to you guys. So we could do. Um. So we could do the 15th. We could um piggyback on that public hearing. Yeah. Because right. Joe's going to come in. We're going to do the sit then. Anyway. It won't be that long. It's a couple hours, of course. Yeah. And if it does, oh, we we have to notify people, so we have to. Put it down, right? Yeah, we'll put a budget workshop right. and a public hearing. What I'm saying, if we don't get it done, then do we should we put it back up in for? Can we put it back up and cancel it? Mm -hmm. Why don't we put in one for Tuesday too, and then cancel it if we're all set? Was it next Tuesday? No, the yeah the sixteenth. The sixteenth. Okay. You, you know, all I'm just saying. If, if yeah, I guess we don't know how the public hearing is going to go. We don't. I, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be quick, but. You don't want to do Saturday, the 13th? I don't care. I'm fine with me. Fine. Will, you, will you be around, Paul? I should be. Like I said, I don't care. Well, it's not, it's it's not ski season, no. so I'm, I'm here. Yeah, I'm, with, I'm pretty sure I'll be around. So. Okay. 13th, I'm 20, here. like 9 o'clock in the morning, something like that. Yeah. 10, 9, okay. something like that. Let's do that. And then um, maybe we'll be able to just be done on the 15th with Joe and. Well, that's right. If we do it on the 13th, we can take our time and okay. get it done. All right. So we, we're good about, are we pretty much good about budget? Because there's one other thing I'm just going to bring up. I think we're good for budget, yeah. So Alan, Alan's email, Alan Boone's email, and, and the fact that, so something I just want to discuss briefly with what you guys think is discussing the check to see if he wants more hours. Yeah, I don't know if he does. Well, he's he, he does. does. He yeah, we, we kind of I been hashing Everybody's had individual yeah. discussion. So he would be interested in taking on more hours. He would. He would full time. Um, and then my other thought process is, just think about this when we contemplate it, maybe we should talk about it Monday, is the position we felt it would be more something like an administrative assistant. Um, so my thought about this is, based on the feedback from MRI, is they, are rec they think we could do with a, a part-time TA. Yeah, but I'm saying not even... Um, Not even necessarily town administrator, but more of a. Well, we need give the, we need people to do things like ARPA. 
and you know there are some high level projects I think um, that human resources um, right right so there are some high level things but okay. so my thought about it is personally we could do potentially a, a part time TA maybe sixteen to twenty hours mm -hmm. um, we could Chuck is willing to take on all of the, the financials mm -hmm. um, he could be full time. We would take the administrative stuff off. And I've talked to him about it. He thinks that we could get away with maybe six hours for an admin, for the admin work. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's what we should do. Mm -hmm. So do we do we do we recruit still through? Oh, so I wanted to. Do we still recruit for them with for a part time, I think sixteen so. twenty hours a week, and yep. would their funds go down? Are you still pay like three grand for a search or? Uh, no, I think we should st should still do that. Yeah. Um, okay. I think we should try to use their services if we can. Right. Um, because on that, you know, you need to cope with another job description. Yep. So we want to vote on that tonight. You want to vote on that Monday? Um, we already voted on them using it. We already we already have them all searching right now. So we already we already have the contract with them. We just have to decide if we want to proceed with the recruiting. Um, I actually think that we might consider, they offered some um, some financial consulting. We might consider um, their off offer of that um, to help us with some of the unknown budget questions we have. Um, just to kind of firm up, um, you know, things like tax impact. Um, I, I think that's my concern. So we can use them as, we, we use them as a consultant. Right. Yeah, yeah, just like limited hours. Four yes, hour exactly. type, yeah. four hour type thing. Well, just, when we're, well when we're, we, 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 just we give them an assignment. Like, yes. Well, I'm just saying, we call them talking because we're going to need to set the. I mean, we're going to need to set the back in the next couple of weeks for that. What's that In the next month, mm -hmm. we're going right. to set for yeah. this time. Yep. Yeah. Um, so I think you know we engage with them for some financial consulting. But, and we use them for recruiting. Oh, let me just continue. Part time. Yeah. Yeah, and go with that. Yeah. You feel better at the head of the table? No, I got all these checks sitting here. <laughs> do it if I had a good kind of basis, but, um, and it's got to be approved by DRA. I also like think that we could, we go. Yeah. I was thinking, I was thinking the upper and warrants, you know. But I think the Municipal Association yeah. would also help you. Um, so quickly before um, my that, battery dies, can it, I just run some numbers by yep, you guys? Yeah, So I looked at um, the average um, salary for a TA, and this, and it was an article that I found here, um, and they are saying that in New Hampshire, an average TA median is around seventy-five thousand. So I figured that's full time, right? Full time. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so I figured out if we if we did a part time TA, and we budgeted about. Well, if you do 16 to 20 hours, it's around 40,000. But if we budgeted because there are, is demand, 45, yeah. and then we made Chuck full time. Yeah, we got Chuck's salary and his hours, right? Yeah. And we bumped, say, and, and I just came up with some benefits. rough number, mm -hmm. and this is open for discussion. And we considered um, a part time, yeah. like a six hour admin, uh, unless we can get a volunteer, of course. Um, we could stay within what we have proposed, safely proposed for the executive line as it stands now. Okay. So right now, the executive line is um, 106. But if you, if you did a part-time TA, full-time Chuck, um, with an increase for Chuck for his um, taking on all of the financial responsibility and the extra day, um, I think we're still safe in what had been proposed for 2022. Um, so we don't necessarily have to be overly concerned about 
planning for an additional cost for a new TA? I like it. I think that's a good idea. And, and I think it gives us everything we want. Yeah. Yeah. So the only key is going to be is finding the person right. that can be part time and helpful and be able to hopefully guide through paperwork. But you never know. I mean, yeah. So, so probably a candidate out there isn't for part time job has got experience. Well, and like Mike said, there are some retired military folks. Yeah. Um, so and so, I that's why I think it's important to kind of work with them if we can to help with recruiting because there are some avenues that might be useful. Um, when I called. Was it Hooksett that had the transportation? What town was it I called with? CMJ, one other town? Londonderry. Londonderry, thank you. When I called Londonderry, I was talking to the part time town administrator. Yep. Oh, you're who, thinking part time? Who was town administrator for a bunch of years, yep. but decided to have less of a workload. So she was the assistant town administrator. But the town administrator was only like a year or two. So the person who knew everything was the assistant town administrator. So I'm just saying, if you can find someone that's looking yeah. for a position, hey, I, I've done my job, yeah. now that's a perfect example. You need somebody that can do the high level stuff right. because Chuck can manage the financial aspect of it. Right. You know, and I think that's a good combination for this. And that's, well, that's what MRI said, really. You know, they think that Chuck is competent enough that he could do all the financial part, and that is probably our biggest need. Um, and in fact, they actually recommend that we might want to even table our search for a TA, but I still feel like we no, do need I, a I, TA. I, I do too. And um, I, you know, I talked to Chuck, and yeah. and he basically said, "Hey, I can do the financials. I don't want to do the HR part, and I don't want to be the interface to the public." Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Okay. Well, so that's what the TA needs to be. I mean, that's the public, yeah. and we need someone Pretty in that simple. office that can be that. Mm -hmm. okay. So I agree. I think that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So, and then so we continue. We continue. And, and, actually helps us clarify it rather than go through the process with it. Yeah. Right. So we continue on with, with MRI to yep. I do want to look for back. a part-time assistant. Yeah. Um, well, so the, we, got, I, we should talk to Chuck. So Chuck, is there anything we don't even talk to Chuck or anything? We just have to appropriate. Well, so, um, no, we do. No, I, I asked Chuck to put together what it looks like if he was doing all the finances to describe the job. So he's putting that together. Um, so basically, it would be everything, including the DRA portal. So he's gonna. Um, he feels comfortable. He knows yeah. it, but he can learn it. Yeah. Also. Um, so I think that's it. really the thing. The, the only thing that he isn't real um, knowledgeable, complete as knowledgeable as he feels he should be about is the DRA portal. Um, but other than that, he felt comfortable. So he's putting. But, but he's been in there and done things. Mm -hmm. yeah. His email. His email. The other day was pretty, pretty informative too. And he, you can tell by reading his email, he's got a handle on what's going on. So good. You know, you can you can tell that he's very interested because uh, I I texted him about uh, getting the name of the insurance company and the agent because I was going to call him, and, and he followed up on his own. Yeah. And that's the email we get back. Yeah. Okay. Um, so is that so? If we are um, planning to do that, what I'd like to do is go back through the job description that MRI put together because I think it's very light, mm -hmm. and kind of look at what Caroline gave us for the transition, mm -hmm. and make sure that the high-level problems <coughs> are covered in the job description, um, and also that we talk about HR coverage and then potentially welfare as well. Um, Chuck would be backup welfare, he said, um, but he would want. The TA would be. Yep, I get that. That makes sense. Okay. All right, so I'll, I'll try to work with MRI to short that job description a little bit more based around what we have for current project list. Okay. Sound good? Have okay. you reached out to them at all? Um, last week I told Alan we would review the job description and then we would circle back with him after we talked about it. Um, all right, good. Anything else? Um, I got one very simple, easy thing. We got a uh, an email from Denise Knowles. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I did. See. And she's looking for permission to put a thank you from the Family Day Committee sign uh, in the town property in Silver Street. Yeah, that's no problem. I'm, sure. I'm and okay. one of the, I thought yeah. we all approve it. So. That's fine. So we might have to make a motion for that. Um, no, as long as all three of us approve it. Okay. Fine. We're all fine with it, right? 
Right. One other thing we do, actually, because we're getting it's getting late into November, we have to make a decision on the compressor before the end of the year. Um, the uh, generator, sorry, generator yes. before the end of the year. And I've talked to John about that. Okay. Um, so, yes. Right. And he, I, I forget the name, but he's got one that he recommends and that uh, oh, we've used them before. Sean recommends and that we've used before, and it's like twenty thousand dollars less than the other proposal. Mm -hmm. um, I looked it's like twenty five thousand. I think. It's like What's the total? Yeah. What's the total? Here it's this one, Paul. Um, well, the one that's not in there is Moriarty. Right. Um, but, so this is the oh, one. Yeah, I've seen this. It was, uh, um, oh, it was oh, one was no, a lot more than the other. Um, so what I don't, the only thing, let's see, uh, oh, with the new color, okay. And, and Sean was there also, and Sean told me that that's a much better generator than the other. Oh, the Generac? Yes. He said Kohler is a much better product. Mm -hmm. Especially for this. Yeah, You're talking I, for I, this building? Yes. Yeah. Um, what is the Generac one? 30 kilowatt. Yeah. He said Kohler is much better yeah. and it, it's less, a lot less. It's like That's surprising. $20,000 less than that. Um, Walk right well, in the building. No, well, it's. 16 less, but the sizing is different. Though. Yeah, but the size is fine. They said. Okay. Well, that was a so um, on the Moriarty one, it was a, um, a 36 kilowatt versus a 30. Right. And then it also includes a transfer switch um, for 7600. Those guys looked at both of them pretty well. Yep. Sean did. And okay. I, I, I was with Sean and John the other day. Okay. Um, and we've used them before. Yes, they got a very good reputation. Okay, I'm fine with it then. Um, as long as the sizing is right. I think, because I did talk to Mark about this, and um, he felt that the, this sizing was a little bit of a forward thinking. You know, if for some reason the needs of the building change, it, this would support it. But if we're comfortable with that, this sizing meets the current needs and maybe even future needs a bit, then. I'm fine with um, the proposal from Generator Connection. Oh, that's who's coming to our house. <laughs> Paul? Yep, I'm okay with it. 40, 45 grand. For probably as much as it's going to get used. Um, <laughs> it's 45 grand. No, no, no. Oh. Yeah. 21 9. Okay. okay, so let's, let's just do it then. Um, so I'll make a motion. Um, to move forward with the proposal from Generator Connection um, to replace the generator for $21,900. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. That's, that's the cold one, right? Yes. yes. That's the cold one. Bless you. Okay. All right, good. That's all right. Um, and I think that's all I have for that. Okay. Motion to adjourn? Uh, we can move to adjourn. Do we have anybody on there we have to talk to? Uh, it's gone. Okay.